Putting the team into Crash Team Racing Nitrofield is probably one of the most interesting titles we've ever come up with, and it's also a very cool topic. Now, this video started with two chickens, one car. Hmm. But thankfully, you guys helped shape this into something far more interesting through your comments in the community post. Thanks to the Joe who made a big impact on the sort of topic of this video. So yeah, thanks Darth Vader. Now, CTR is already full of incredible stuff, I know, but I think there should still be a benefit from putting the team into Crash Team Racing Nitrofield and basically by adding a good team game mode. Today then, we're going to discuss some really cool ways that this could be implemented, including things from other Crash games and also other games altogether. So, let's jump into the video. A couple of quick notes, if any of the suggestions in today's video do come true, I'm advocating that they're in their own game mode and don't interact with the rest of the game and spoil the mechanics, so you don't have to get upset about that. And also, thank you to each and every one of you who left a comment on the community post section regarding this video. I will feature as many as possible as we go through, but if I don't feature yours, I'm sorry, but keep commenting, I will feature more in other videos to come. Yes, we have four ideas today, but at number one, and we are going to start with the most simple because we want to build it up, obviously, we are going to start with a very basic team mode. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, this is the kind of team mode we have seen in lots of kart races before. So, in CTR, as I'm sure you're all aware, each race has eight players. Now, that means that we could split that up into teams. Maybe we could have two teams of four, or probably more appropriately, four teams of two. But then again, you could just sort of figure that out for yourselves, and there could be two variations of this. Yes, like I said, this is a very simple way of having multiplayer team modes. But then again, I think it's an undervalued form of multiplayer as well. I love and have loved in the past playing games with friends as teammates and it's not what you do on your own that counts, it's what you do as a collective which counts and for me that adds a ton to any game. So this could be implemented in a few ways, perhaps you could get friends playing together online um, on the same team obviously via the internet or maybe you could even take split screen online if that was to happen. Now, there is obviously problems with this, and we have seen it before. We don't want people primarily making themselves a nuisance in the game rather than trying to finish as high as possible. So what I would recommend if something like this was to appear is that a race would be won on point as a combined team. This would hopefully discourage people from being a pain in the arse. And instead, you know, you'd have to really try and finish as high as possible, both of you, if you were to win. If you finish first and your teammate finishes last, that cannot be a way to win. Otherwise, we'll have people sat on boxes just being a pain in the backside, and that's bad. So that would probably mean we'd have to have a bit of a change to the point scoring system that we currently have in the game, but it's not too big a change. And I honestly, if this was implemented right, with the right restrictions, right considerations, it would add a lot to the experience in my opinion. The second idea we have today is Crash Team Racing Double Dash Nitro Mario Kart. Uh, I don't know, it's basically a Mario Kart double, ma uh, double mash. We're basically talking about a Mario Kart Double Dash mode in CTR, obviously, and in Mario Kart inspired Double Dash mode, it would have to change a little bit. Now, although it was pointed out to me that I was wrong with this, but when we first saw the chickens together in one cart, what a beautiful sight, um, we thought that this could mean some kind of Double Dash mode was coming to CTR, but as was said, it's probably just a cool cinematic, and it did look pretty cool. Now basically the idea comes from Mario Kart Double Dash, the first Mario Kart game I played by the way, and it was unique in the way that it had two characters controlling and one kart. You had one character controlling the power-ups or items, whatever you want to call them, and another one controlling the car, and you could switch between them, which was properly cool. It really was an enjoyable game mode, and if it was added as a multiplayer team mode in CTR, I think it would bring a fair bit. Now, if each character has the ability to drive and hold an item, which is what you'd want, you'd want to switch between you and your teammate, it would add a further element of strategy. Who should use their item or power-up first? Maybe someone with a really powerful power-up should keep it. They should keep it until it's really needed and keep in the driver's seat driving until that point. It would also just be absolutely hilarious to watch the chaos unfold because that's what Mario Kart Double Dash was all about. 
Before we go on to the two most interesting team concepts in this video, please do remember to let me know what you think down in the comment section below at some point. Maybe you want to wait till the end. And also, while you're down there, do consider hitting the like button if you are enjoying. That helps us out so much. And feel free to subscribe for new Crash content every Wednesday and often more regular than that. So idea number three is the Crash Tag Team Racing Team mechanics, which are very weird, but the whole game was a bit weird, so it's to be expected. By this, we're basically talking about the concept of clashing. If you clashed with another car in Crash Tag Team Racing, then your carts combined into some crazy powerful combined car with one character driving and another one manning a turret, which was an interesting concept for a kart racer. It does make you feel like a tank, I can remember, on the racetrack. You're powerful, but you are quite slow. Now this idea has some things going for it and some things not really going for it. So in some ways, it's definitely the most appropriate way to bring team, the team word in to Crash Team Racing because it was a feature in Crash Tag Team Racing and therefore some people are already familiar with it. We've also seen that they're willing to bring content from previous games of this one. So does that make it sort of likely? I don't know. I think this is a big mode if they were to implement it. However, in other ways, it's definitely the most out there method of bringing the team word into Crash Team Racing because it just changes so much of what we already have in the game. But as a few of you did say, if they were to bring this, there would need to be changes and I'm sure they could change things. I mean, Crash Tag Team Racing was a completely different game to Crash Team Racing Nitrofield. So if they altered that mode, maybe it could work. I don't know, let me know down below. The final idea we have today is the idea of bringing the team mechanics from Team Sonic Racing, which is probably even more out there than the Crash Tag Team Racing thing. Now, I didn't mind Team Sonic Racing when it released last year, but to be honest, I haven't played it too much since then. However, the biggest highlight from the whole game was the team mechanics it brought because they were just so different and actually really interesting. Now, as an isolated game mode, these would be totally fun. As I said earlier, if they brought this kind of stuff to the whole game, it would change it and it, that just won't happen. But as an isolated game mode, this could actually make for some really fun gameplay. So what exactly am I talking about when I talk about the team mechanics in Team Sonic Racing? Well, there are a few and I'll mention them now. So basically driving through a teammate slipstream to gain an extra boost of speed is one um, but it's only the leader of your team that can leave the slipstream for you to drive through so what you end up doing is you end up slingshotting between each other leaving boosts when when you get in the lead you leave a boost for your teammates they then use this boost to slingshot past you they leave a boost and it just keeps the whole team moving faster as a unit now another one of the team mechanics includes offering and accepting power-ups to your teammates and from your teammates. This is a very simple thing, but it's also, you know, really interesting. If you're in the lead, you don't want a rocket, but maybe you got a rocket. You could then swap that for somebody who's at the back that could do with something like that, that kind of thing. And there's also the ultimate power up meter, which you charge up by completing cooperative tasks, such as the two we just mentioned. And when it's full, you get a big boost of speed. But it doesn't stop there because if you activate your ultimate power meter right at the same time you activate it together as a team, it will give you an, an even bigger boost. Now the team mechanics in this game are very interesting, but the biggest thing for me is just how interactive they are. It's not just like the first thing we talked about, adding up your points at the end of the race. This is a way of working together throughout the race, working together on your strategy and making sure each one of you is successful in the race. It's a really nice cooperative way and it just enhances that team experience probably more so than I've ever seen in a car racer before and that's why those mechanics stick in my head so much. Now, although as you can probably tell, I am a big fan of what they did with the team mechanics in Team Sonic Racing, I'm not saying that they should introduce these exact same team mechanics into CTR. Maybe they could take elements, I especially think the idea of swapping items, power-ups, whatever you want to call them, is a good way to bring that sort of stuff in. But basically, I'm just looking at things such as bringing in cooperative elements throughout the race, stuff like we talked about there. I think that would be a really nice idea and a fantastic way of putting the team into CTR. From what you guys told me as well, and I did a bit of research because I've never actually played the original Crash Nitro car, 
Shock. But you guys told me that in the team race in Crash Nitro Kart, you could do sort of team up with um, a, a nearby partner. And when you did so, you'd unlock something called Team Frenzy, which basically means that you could have access to unlimited weapons and power-ups until somebody attacked you and stuff like that. I think maybe somehow they could bring this into this style of interactive multiplayer or team mechanics. What do you think though? I mean, personally, I'd like to see inspiration from any of the things we have talked about on today's list, especially that little cooperative bit, and even the simple stuff at the start. That would be a pretty cool addition as well. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We release a new Crash video every single Wednesday on the channel and often more regular. So get involved with the polls, get involved with the videos. And yeah, thank you so much for your support and I will see you in another video soon.